So you help people rehab rehabilitate? Morning vlog. It's 6.30 right now. I'm sitting or waiting a bed because Johannes is showering right now. We're now getting to the first event. We got up at 6 a.m. We got home yesterday at 2 a.m. Flashback. It's 11 p.m. right now and the two organizers still working. I asked. I'm not allowed to show them because they look so tired. Yesterday evening was the briefing for all the volunteers for the event, so that's why I arrived yesterday. Double flash flashback. So this is Johannes, one of the two organizers of the event, and he lets me sleep in his apartment. By the way, do you always let random people sleep at your house? No, no not really, <laughs> but first time actually. <laughs> End of double flashback. So yeah. Let's see how the day goes. But hold on, what actually is a startup safari? Good question version of Finn editing this video right now and thinking, wait, viewers might actually not know what it is. So who can explain it better than startup safari themselves? So let's roll the clip. Here's how startup safari works. Companies wanting to host events create their own profiles and decide what types of events they'd like to host and when. Events are listed by category on our site and marked on the city map. Attendees will show up for the event they signed up for at the given time and location. Spaces for events are limited and booked on a first-come, first-served basis. Attendees create their own personal schedules in company events all over town. Well, that was awesome! Transition. So that was the kickoff you just saw in that building behind me. I have three sessions for the day where I'll be at the entrance and checking for tickets. And of course, if anyone has any questions. 12 seconds later. And very, very IT-lastig is, I'm thinking about how to invest. So is the mentality in Deutschland, which is a bit more difficult. So first startup session here at Acceler. Um, I got one person here. What, what's your name? Matthias. Matthias. Okay. What do you do at Acceler? I'm doing business development management. Business development. I heard you just launched a new product and Correct. you are automating code review based on machine learning. Is that Correct. right? Yes. Hey guys, second startup, Kogia. This is the founder, Pascal, right? Yes. Um, Pascal, can you explain in one sec sentence what you do at Kogia? Sure. We at Kogia do AI-based big data analytics. So, and we are basically specialized in text mining. That means big amount of data, yes. as long as it is text, we can analyze and get you the gold nuggets out of it. We identify the weak signals, the patterns, and the threats in real time. That That's was quite a long sentence, but you got it. I Thank got you, it, man. all right, thanks. So much power to embrace all me, all me, all me. Hey guys, last session for the day, um, just finished here, now only the closing party is coming up. I'm here with... Rachel from VR First. From VR First. Can you say in one ten sentence what you do at VR First? Yes, VR First is an online competition platform. We are reaching to over 100,000 VR and AR developers worldwide. So if you're a company who wants to solve, which wants to solve a VR AR business problem, you can contact us and we are going to have a variety of solutions for you. There you go. Just finished the last session, session number three um, about VR. I found myself some YouTubers yeah. or upcoming YouTubers. <laughs> uh, Later that same evening. Let's take a tour through the modern workplaces. So here are tables, offices where people are working. More offices. And then you got this thing. That's the swing, by the way. You can just. 
swing for a while. I don't know. Ich tauge dir gar nicht mehr. <laughs> and then you can also, if you want to take a nap, take a nap. Go ahead. And then empty office rooms, tables to work, and then bar. The next morning. Today is the second day of the startup safari, um, which will be a day in Darmstadt because the startup safari is actually not just in Frankfurt, but the whole Rhein-Main region. And I'm gonna be as a volunteer attending this bus tour. 82 kilometers later. Since September, we are one of the four lucky startups that have the chance to work here at Merck Innovation Center. So, we are living great. Hi, so I'm here with... Hi, I'm Julian. And you just founded, or not just, in June 2016, you founded BrainRide? No, we are Living Brain. Living Brain. We are a startup from Heidelberg. And Heidelberg? I, yeah, right. I, I studied in Heidelberg. Oh no, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, hey. <laughs> yeah, okay. we are two students of psychology and we develop solutions for neurorehabilitation, especially for patients after neurosurgery. Okay, so you help people rehabilitate? Rehabilitate after surgery in the brain, and what do you use for that? Uh, we use virtual reality. We develop okay. a solution on virtual reality so that the patient can train his abilities wherever he wants in the clinic, at home, so that he is not under pressure and he can do it always and every time. So, really using technology. Yeah. I also heard this is a topic that is very close to your heart personally. Would yeah, you definitely. share why? I underwent neurosurgery in 2015 due to a severe epilepsy yeah. and this is why this is especially important for me, myself and my co-founder too. Okay. Thank you so much, man. No problem, thank you. 12 seconds later. Second startup introducing themselves here at Merck. I'm here with... Anne. From? From Labfolder. Can you explain in one sentence what you do at Labfolder? Uh, Labfolder is a research data management platform which helps you to easily uh, manage all your research data in one place. It's easy retrievable and you can share it with your colleagues. It's an interactive platform for all researchers. That's quite a long sentence, but thank you so much. One minute, 37 seconds later. So startup number three here at Merck. I'm here with the founder and the marketing manager of... Mm -hmm. what, who oh, are you? Medixing. Medixin. Can you explain in one sentence what you do at Medixin? We want to reduce the impact for diabetes to patients who suffer it. Okay, thank you very much. 346 minutes later. This is Oculize, you're the CTO, right? Usually yep. I ask people to describe what you do in one sentence, but you created a um, microscope for the smartphone, right? You can see it there. Um, how did you come up with that idea? Um, so the idea was by uh, Katja Schulze, who does the image recognition in our team and is one of the co-founders. Uh, in her PhD, she developed uh, algorithms to do automatic image recognition for microscopic images. Uh, and then when the idea came up to make a company out of this, the problem was always, um, how do I get the actual images? Because a microscope is not mobile. So this was the part we needed, and in combination now we have a mobile microscope with automated analysis. Many unbearable hours later. Whew, outro. Um, just arrived. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. I took a bus midnight to 8 a.m. 8 a.m. You know what I really like? I think I really enjoy long bus drives. Mm. Nothing better than that. But, bag and bring. So didn't sleep yet. Probably gonna take a shower, make some coffee and then get down to getting all the shit that has been piling up over this few days. Getting it done and also from this video I hope you could see that I could meet a lot of people and I did meet a lot of people and that's also the main reason why I go to these events um, not really to learn anything what they talk about because that's all things you can learn on the interwebs for free okay guys the first thing that you need to know is that the internet is amazing and it's changing every day 
Once you've learned how to get online yourselves, you'll start seeing web pages everywhere. But meeting these people, making relationships, connecting to people, that's what's really valuable. And also to put it into perspective of what I just talked about a lot recently, doing the uncomfortable. Hallo Frankfurt! I try to put as much responsibility on myself as possible as a volunteer. That's also why I took the bus tour to, to Darmstadt. I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it that you are interested enough in my life that you are doing less of your life, if that made sense. I, I think you know what I talk about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I know that you're creeping on me now. I